Welcome to St. Helen's Anglican Church in Orleans, Ontario, and to this service recorded for November the 15th. Although we are not gathered in person today, we light this candle as a symbol of our faith community joined in prayer and purpose as we persevere in our witness to the presence and power of God in our midst. Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. O God, make speed to save us. O, o Lord, Lord, make haste to help us. us. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the, to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. We continue with the proclamation of the word. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anything written to you, for you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When they say there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them, as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and there will be no escape. But you, beloved, are not in darkness for that day to surprise you like a thief, for you are all children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who are drunk, get drunk at night. But, then, but since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of, of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are doing. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, For it is if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master replied, You wicked and lazy slave, you knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and on my return I would have received what was my own with interest. 
So take the talent from him and give it to the one with the ten talents. For to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Would you please take a moment in prayer for the preacher? In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Parables. Short stories with a big point. Parables. Today, Jesus is ramping up his messages. The end is in sight. The time is short and the showdown in Jerusalem is around the corner. His point in this parable, don't not use the gifts God gives you. Don't not use the gifts God gives you. One talent, that is, one unit of money, was worth 20 years' wages. 20 years' wages. That is a lot of money in any era. To slaves who are already owned by their master, to be entrusted with this enormous amount of capital, to be given complete control over their master's resources, was absolutely awesome, and perhaps not a little terrifying. And the master goes off on a journey. And of course he will return. That is one of the features of this parable. So the slaves are put to the test. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them. In the same way, so did the one who had been given two. But, but the one with one went and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. Spoiler alert, perhaps not the best plan. Then the master returns and settles accounts. Well done, numbers one and two. You have earned even more trust with me. Enter into the joy of your master. And what about you, number three? I was afraid. I was afraid, so I went and hid. Here, you have back what is yours. Could those slaves have done anything else with their master's treasure? Of course. They could have given it all away, reminiscent of the parable of the dishonest steward, to a charity, perhaps. St. Helen's Anglican Church, for instance although they might have had a hard time convincing Revenue Canada of that rather large gift. They could have attempted to trade and lost money instead of making more. That does happen. Or they could have invested with the bankers and made, what is it today, 0.25% interest. The point seems to be how those slaves were willing or not to risk, to risk something valuable that was not theirs to begin with. Were they willing to fail boldly? Well, I suppose two out of three 
ain't bad. Are we willing to fail boldly? Parables are designed to sneak into our consciousness and linger with the scent of God's grace. Do we even realize the breadth of God's gifts to us? Do we kid ourselves into thinking that God doesn't give us any talents whatsoever? God has never, ever done that. And whether we perceive one or two or 50 talents, are we willing to put them to use? To risk getting the paint chipped when we judge ourselves as not good enough? Or even to fail spectacularly, learn a lesson or two and try, try again? Or will we continue to live in fear? We are the five talent people. We have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection. We are the heralds of good news, forgiveness, generosity, mercy, grace, joy. How is it even possible to bury joy? We are to risk forgiveness, even when there seems little hope of resolution or reconciliation. See Jesus as an example. We are to offer healing, compassion, prayer, laughter, hope, and peace, even in the midst of the whirlwind. Of course, there will be doubts and hesitation, but feel the fear and do it anyway. What's the old saying? No risk, no reward. If we are not willing to risk God's talents in us, then we are inviting weeping and gnashing of teeth, one of Matthew's favorite expressions. God's talents are designed to be used for God's ends through us. You and I have been invited into the joy of our master. We must be willing to put God's grace to use since God's grace has already been entrusted to us. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. We continue with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for all peoples around the globe struggling with disasters, fires, floods, snow, and hurricanes. For those suffering in places of civil unrest, war, injustice, and violence. We pray for Canadian Indigenous people as we remember that we stand on traditional Algonquin lands and we pray for our Canadian military. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all people impacted by COVID-19 worldwide and for us coping with this second wave. For children and youth, families and singles, and the aged. We continue to pray for all medical and care staff and others who are required to work with the public. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the Anglican world cycle of prayer, we remember Christian communities in Ceylon, Nigeria, Ireland, Southern Africa, South Sudan, England, Eritrea, New Zealand and Polynesia, North India, West Africa, in the United States, the Diocese of California, and remembering all those there trying to recover after the forest fires. And we pray for Japan, for the Diocese of Ottawa, remembering St. Margaret's Vanier, Rob Davis, Aiga Adaguziak, Steve Zeifeld, clergy. For members of the Outreach Committee and its working groups, for Bishop Parker and all of our community ministries. Also in the Canadian Church, we pray for our Archbishops, Linda Nichols, Anne Germond, and Mark MacDonald. We remember our sisters and brothers of the Evangelical Lutheran Church and also our companion diocese of Jerusalem and the Middle East. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all in need of God's healing power. For healing in body, mind and spirit, for the healing of relationships or the closure of toxic ones, for healing of past trauma or betrayal, for the healing of memories. We pray for those who are dying, that they and their families may be comforted and strengthened. And we pray for all who have died and are now in Christ's nearer presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the absolution and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Gracious God, you have heard the prayers of your faithful people. You know our needs before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Grant our requests as may be best for us. This we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Collect of the Day. Almighty God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the light of the world. Free us from all that darkens and ensnares us and bring us to eternal light and joy through the power of him 
who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also, also with, with you. you. The doxology. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God, from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The announcements for today. We are not wearing masks during this liturgy because we are in the same small bubble. We pray that you are wearing your masks in every other public situation, as are we, as well as washing hands, practicing physical distancing, and not gathering. St. Helen's website, sthelens.ca, offers spiritual nurture, worship services, notices, and the latest edition of our newsletter, The Vine. Under worship, please join us every week on Sundays for online worship at St. Helens, a service of Compline or night prayers is now on our website. Information about upcoming online worship and making a memorial donation for Christmas flowers is in the vine. Under discipleship, a new quiet garden devotional is now available on our website. The virtual topical Bible study continues on Tuesday mornings at 9.30 a.m. If you would like to join us, even if you don't feel that you could attend every time, please email the church to receive your Zoom invitation. See the November Vine for more information. Youth ministry continues online. Under stewardship, thank you to all who continue to support the church financially. Under outreach, although we do not expect that we will be able to offer the same kind of support to our community ministries as we have in the past, we will again collect gift cards, $10 gift cards, to distribute through the appropriate agencies. Simply put them into our locked mailbox by December 13th. Under community, church office hours are Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, 9 to 12. The front door will be locked. Please ring the doorbell. Although we are very sorry that we could not have a bazaar this year, both jam and pickle makers and crafters have been busy. Please see the November Vine for more information. Thank you to all who continue to assist with parish ministry. To our financial ministry team, Kim, Lynn, and Paul. To our music ministries led by Derek and Emily. To Terry, Dave, 
Peter and Derek for administrative and technological assistance. We ask God's richest blessings on all of you who are celebrating birthdays, anniversaries, or other special events at this time. And the blessing. Be steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and untiring in love all the days of your life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.